Hey guys, it's Ben with uh, Vassar Village Salvage here with eBay Power Selling Tips, uh, sourcing, whatever. You guys are on my journey. So I'm super excited. I just got my garage spray foamed. So yeah, um, garage is a long ways off from being done. Uh, winter's kind of creeping up on us here in Maine. Um, so it was one of the bucket lists before I built shelves was to spray foam and then I can build shelves. Uh, right now I have a little bit of inventory out here, but I definitely wouldn't put like, uh, you know, anything worth, you know, more than $10 out here. Uh, I have a lot of clothes and bags, you know, a lot of metal car parts that can, you know, are made to withstand the elements. Um, you know, and kind of throughout the day, it is kind of my packing shipping area. So sweet find here. It's a Huffy um, 1950s con uh, mainstream. So um, I kind of took a jump on that. The comps on eBay, there was selling the tank for 80 bucks. I paid 100 for the whole bike. I'm kind of like, eh. I see a lot of bike forms saying like the cutoff for them plus shipping is about 150 to two. Even though it's in great shape, it kind of got that Schwinn look. Uh, by the way, if you see anything Schwinn, it's as good as gold. Um, so a few tips today. One big tip I'd like to cover. I live in Maine, obviously. We've covered that a few times. But, um, you know, something to think about. Uh, from 1930s to about 1950s, we didn't have TV. We had old radios and, um, you know, floor models, desk models, whatever. Uh, tubes, old radios is a huge thing on eBay. I will say it's dying off throughout the years with baby boomers kind of retiring, um, et cetera, et cetera. How's the nice way of saying dying? Um, <laughs> uh, um, so you know, with that trending, um, a lot of tubes and things like that are really expensive on eBay. So things to keep in mind, uh, a few hot finds I have, um, on any Craigslist, Facebook marketplace, whatever, uh, there's tons of old radios. Um, you know, and I just want to clarify, like there's a lot and some of them are just way too big to ship. Um, you know, and they got a lot of rot on the bottom. They're made out of wood. You know, and they come in various conditions, but they're just way too big to ship um, if you do get the larger models. So what I've been doing is buying them and tearing them down. This bad boy is a Zenith from 1947, um, 1943. And, you know, every one of these parts is worth something. So, um, you know, this is selling for 75 bucks. The comps are fast. I've already sold a bunch of parts off there. I've already made my money back. Um, you know, all this stuff is, you know, this is selling for 40 bucks just by itself. Um, the dial needle. So just a few tips for you. Um, you know, just here to make you laugh, make you cry and say, are you selling stuff on eBay, Ben, and passing out tips? I'm, I'm trying. It's just a journey. I'm tired. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. Stay safe.